Yes. Oh my god. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Joey Grass Outdoors. In today's episode, uh, me and my friend went pond hopping, and we also stopped at a river. Then, uh, one other day, we went to a pond and uh, fished there. But in the first day, we went fishing at, uh, I think, f three or four ponds and did pretty well. Well, caught. You'll see in the video. Then we went to uh, the river at the last part of the video. Well, the last part of the first day. Then on the second day, we just went to one pond, and that's where it was really fun. But hope you guys enjoy the video. Stay tuned. To the old faithful, the uh, five inch weightless Texas rigged Senko. It's not Senko anymore, it's Senko. Didn't have any. This is per, this is the only hook I can hook a scent go with right now. I left all my tackle in my dad's car, and he's at work right now, and I have limited tackle. First guess was Senko calling it. That's a nice one. Oh boy. Oh god. That's a nice one. It's about a two pounder. Don't jump. 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 Devin! It's like a two pounder. Give it to me, take me to your pond. I catch fish. I don't know, what do you say about a two pounder? That's what I would say. Put up heck of a fight. Nice fish, first fish here. Wasn't expecting that big of a fish because he said there wasn't as big a fish in here, but nice two pounder. Nice. Get another one. Okay, stopped at the hydro plant. Spot number four or five, I can't remember. All I have is a casting rod on me with a chartreuse square bell crankbait. Got one. Small mouth. Nice little guy. Little small jaw. I'll take it. I thought I lost him. I ran him into those rocks and got stuck for a second. First. This may be my first smallmouth I've ever caught here. On that chartreuse crankbait. About time. A little small jaw, a little beat up right there. Probably 
but heck of a fight. Hey, double up! <laughs> Sweet. Phil, it's not like your jollies. It's not whenever you take, put, 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 you want to do, it's not like that jollies. Why is it so tight? I don't know. Releasing both fish. Here goes, here goes Devin's fish. I know. We've reached spot number one and only spot we are fishing today. It's a campground pond and we, well, he asked for permission to fish the last time and the people said yes, just park out of the way. So, took advantage and we're fishing. Okay, so, Devin just lost a supposedly giant. Giant, and I'm gonna catch it. I just have to get this real quick. But you have whatever it is. Gosh. <laughs> <laughs> you shut up, Devin. That's a giant. Can you help me? Can you get that? <laughs> is my seat going with mouth? Thank you. Hey, is my seat going in its mouth? No. What do you say? Three? This is a largemouth bass. You wanna touch him or anything? Can I hold him? Yeah, I don't care. Just hold him tight. It's cool, isn't it? Mm hmm Largemouth bass. Oh, the heck on me. Well, thank you for letting you're, me. You're so welcome. <laughs> that wasn't the bass you broke off. I, I don't know. Freaking chicken. My single broke. That's the thing I hate about. Gary Yamamoto's. They break way too easy. But they're worth the money. I'm just gonna hook it like a Nico rig. So I'm conserving money. I'm sure it has the same action. I mean, not really anything different.
I mean, I'm gonna eventually have to change. Doesn't matter anyway. About a one pounder. I tell you what, they fight hard in here. They do choke it too. Is that a That's a spotted bass. I just caught a I'm pretty sure that's a spotted bass. I'm gonna have to get the pliers out. No, I don't. Well, second fish, and I'm pretty sure it's a spotted bass because it has a like sandpaper. Uh, a uh, ton, but look how fat that fish is. He's a fatty. He gave me a good fight too. Thank you. On the broken sinkhole. I said it probably has the same effect. No, I'm still fishless after that, so. Hopefully I can hook up with one more. I just want one, more and more. Yes, oh my God, no. No way, you should. 